everyone. Oh, we already have some comments. Hello, Yarn Doll. Dawn. Let's see. It'll work. It'll work. Oh, it I got to get over to the comments. Zoila. Hello, everybody. Hello, Angela. Woo so this is a Q&A. You guys ask us anything you want. Um, also, do you guys remember that I had a video where I was going to answer all your questions for that 2K? Yeah, that never happened. So I still have those questions. <laughs> um, if you are embarrassed or you don't want anyone to know that you asked the question for some reason, my email is open. You can send me the questions and I will answer them live. So I am so sorry. I have an eyelash. That's just wonderful. Teresa, take over oh. while I clean my eye. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm just, I'm working on a mile a minute blanket. This is what I have so far. Oh. It's for a friend of mine's baby. Oh, cute. I have that I so it. far. I so I started piecing it together as I go, and now I'm just doing the strips, and then I'll piece it all together when I get all the strips made. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Marina! Hello, Marina. Hello, hello, hello. This is for Marina and Michelle. They message me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get my hearts to do that. No, I think it's, I think it's Apple stuff. I think it is too because I, mine just is not. <laughs> I just won't do it. So, so I just want to say before we get started. Oh my gosh! Last week was amazing. I had Sarah Satch give me a shout out on her channel. What? Yeah, me Sarah Satch. Yay! Um, I love her. Rose invited me to join her live. Rose likes crochet. What? And then, yeah, Dawn, you gave me, like, massive shout-outs on your channel. So, thank you, Dawn. And, yeah, people were just – oh, and Jax. Jax was shouting me out, too. I I don't know. People were just like, you know, let's love Shannon Week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, then awesome. Teresa, and then, Teresa, you shout me out, like, almost every day. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Who, who well, I do. Hi, we Kim. can have all the time. So. Hi, Kim. Hi, Regina. Regina, Angela, Marina, Karen. Oh, there's so many. Yay. Yay. The beauty of advertising. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> uh. Oh, thank you, Marina. Yeah, I know. It was really exciting. So it was it was scary to be on that live with Rose and everybody. And I even had people warning mm -hmm. me on the side that they, that they were scary. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm like that's helping. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was really nerve wracking because like these are big channels and I'm me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was scary, but it was fun. So and then Teresa, you and I went live twice last twice. week. Yep, yeah, and again today. Mm hmm. Uh, can I say I love these? Right. I never had them before. I love them. They're better than my scissors. I like them. Love them. Marina, I saw the replay because you, uh, because I know you and Rika. Oh, yeah, Rika. Yeah, she was awesome. I loved her. Hey, Becca. So if you guys want to ask a question, all I ask is that you put some question marks before your comment so we can make sure we don't miss them. Remember, you can ask questions to either of us, both of us. Mm -hmm. They can be about anything. If you don't have questions at this moment, I do have. We both have questions that people have asked us. So mm -hmm. um, I I have mine on my phone. But um, oh, Michelle, we love you because you're you. <laughs> oh, yes. So, um, Teresa, people have asked you about Battle of the Stitches. Why don't you start with that? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have. We're just about to finish our first month with Battle of the Stitches. It's been so fun. Um, but Heather and I, Heather from Strings and Threads started this. It was Heather's idea. She approached me about it. And it has just been so fun. Um, each month, we... Um, 
Let me get my thoughts together here. My brain's not working today. It's been <laughs> weird. Each month we pick a new stitch. And this month was called the slip stitch rib. And we each created something with that stitch. We will introduce a stitch at the beginning of the month. And then we create something with that stitch. Um, and it's our own creation. It's not something we, a pattern that we have found. It's a brand new pattern that we design ourselves. And mine was this little cute little bag. It's made with the mainstays sparkle silver. Love. And um, my tutorial for that went up today, went up this morning. So if you want to see the tutorial, you check it out on my channel. Um, but we announce the stitch and do a tutorial on that stitch the first Wednesday. Second Wednesday, we show you a sneak peek to see if you can guess what we're making. Um, the third week, we reveal what our project is. And we put a poll up in the community tab for you to vote on which one of our projects you like the best. Then on the fourth week, which is next Wednesday, Heather and I are going to do this. We're going to come on live. And um, I think it's going to be on my channel, but we're not sure yet. But I'll let you know. But we um, we will uh, do a drawing or we will announce whose project got the most votes. And then um, whether it's me or Heather, we will do a drawing. And someone, if, it, if I get the most votes, then I will do a drawing and someone's going to win this bag. And I'm probably going to throw a few more little fun little surprises in with it. Um, or Heather will do her drawing, whichever one gets the most votes. And we're going to do that each month. Um, also, we had um, a question about um, some people were not able to find the community tab. They were having trouble finding that. Yeah. If you click on my icon, if you go to my channel, Critters Crochet, if you're and you can vote on mine and Heather's, you don't have to vote on just one or the other. You can vote on both of them. But if you go to my icon and click on that on my channel, then you're going to see above all the videos, you're going to see all playlists, lives. It, it, it's the titles of what the videos are. And if you scroll over. Yeah. If you scroll over through those, you're going to see where it says where Shannon has playlist. It'll say community. When you click on that, the poll is going to come up and you will see the poll and you can make your um, your vote. You can vote and you have until uh, probably we're going to say t next Tuesday evening because Wednesday morning is probably when we're going to come on. I'll check that and double check that with Heather to be sure. But get your vote in. And um, also because on the poll, it does not tell us who voted. It just shows a percentage. And so if you want to be included in the giveaway, if you want your name to be part of the drawing, you have to make uh, put a comment below that poll and say, yes, I voted or I want to be in the giveaway, whatever. So we know to include you in that. So that's how that works. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have a question here. Hold on. I will put it on the screen. I think I know how to do that. Show. Yeah, it worked. Oh, okay. You're fit. What is our fa your favorite stitch? stitch? You first. Oh, I have so many that I like. Um, I really love the look of the moss stitch. I just taught somebody that stitch today. And um, I made a blanket for my daughter with it, with the Bernat blanket yarn. And using that stitch with the chunky yarn is so pretty. So I'd have to say that's my favorite. I mean, you'd think it would be single crochet because I do so much on the me. But when it comes to like special stitches if i'm making anything but amigurumi i immediately go to her half table because it's filling but it's not as gappy as a double mm -hmm. so i really like the half double um i also would say that i love a good spike stitch oh that that's pretty too yeah and yes. of course i am very partial to my bobble stitches so mm -hmm. I also like the alpine stitch. I love the texture it gives, and I love, love, love that stitch. It's Which where you do, it's where you do the front post double crochet mm -hmm. in each row. You do, but it, it gives a raised texture to your. You do it in every stitch. I don't. Um, some up some patterns have it every stitch, or you can do you can do every other. You can do a half double back post and then a half double front post 
and back and forth that way, but it's it's so pretty. Okay. Let's see. Michelle also likes the half double. Mm -hmm. Um okay. Well, I've got some questions here. Okay. People don't have any. Um, let's see. I am prepared. I just have to get them to come up. <laughs> okay. Have you ever crocheted a pair of slippers or socks? If so, do you wear them or do you enjoy making them? Thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. uh, yes, I make slippers all the time. <laughs> I make slippers constantly. Um, socks. Yes, I have. I have made socks. I made, I think they're called the Jenny Lynn socks. I don't know. It's a tutorial by um, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She named them after her daughter. Um and then I think I've done the sock monkey ones without actually doing a sock monkey pattern. I just followed the pattern and changed the colors. But my slippers, actually, I'm wearing them. Hold on. They're dirty. Sorry. They're they're very loved. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute. I love the purple. Yeah. This was a variegated yarn. I just let it do whatever it wanted. So, but you see how worn they are? Oh, my gosh. Mm. <laughs> So um, if you guys want a pattern for this, like later this fall or something, if you guys think you'd want to make some quick, easy, cushy slippers with a very thick yarn and a big hook, let me know. Um, let's see. Was there any other part to that question? Do I enjoy making them? Yes, I do. That's why I've made several. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess that was that question. Um, we had one that popped up. Dawn yeah. asked, what was our favorite is our favorite hook? Show that. There we go. Well, that's a nice segue. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> uh, my favorite hook, the one I use is an eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. I mm -hmm. use that one more than any other hook. So I use a 5 millimeter too, but my 5.5, that's my favorite size to use. <clears throat> what brand? <clears throat> what brand? Um, cough, cough, cough. <laughs> oh, fire. <laughs> oh, fire is number one. Dots, number two. I've got them both right here. Um, okay, so we have 12 people watching, 12 lucky people, because if you don't know, today is the O Fires 15% off spring sale. Teresa and I are both affiliates. If you could use our links, that would be nice. I will link them in the chat in just a moment. And she's dancing with her hooks. Um, <laughs> yes, I love my O Fire. The stands, the bowls, and the bobbins are on sale as well. Mm hmm. I love my stands. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, this will only be for three days, 18, mm -hmm. 18, 19, and 20. Why do they keep saying it's three days, but there's four days listed in the email? Yeah, it's till the 21st. It's till the 21st. Just, yeah. So, just go till the 21st. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why they wrote it that way, but anyway, go till the 21st. Yeah. And um, yes, if you could use our links, that would be most helpful. I will link them in just a moment. Wait, somebody else had a question. Oh, sorry. My favorite hook is a four millimeter, even though I do lots of my tutorials in three and a half. That's just because it ends up looking nicer. But my go to is a four. Yeah, uh, I do a lot of blankets and wearables. So my five and five and a half is why. OK, you go while I link. If I disappear, okay. I'm sorry. I'm looking to see if there's any. Uh... Yeah, somebody I don't remember where I saw it. I think it was a comment on a one of the O Fire things that was posted on Insta, but they were talking about how uh, how durable, how sturdy they are. Mm -hmm. Guys, I, I'm not making this up. I am serious. I have dropped so many resin hooks, and the tip <laughs> off every time. I don't. I've lost count on how many times I've dropped my O Fire hooks, and the tips have yet to fall off. They just don't break. So, yeah. This one is my favorite. I want Ashley to make more without the little divots. Are these not gorgeous? I love mine too. So pretty. But I like that it doesn't have the little the little notches. It actually feels more comfortable. Yeah. 
it feels more smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind the notches. I just yeah. I can tell a difference. Yeah. And they have the birthstone. This is mine. This is opal. Same. So you can get you a hook that goes along with your birthstone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our link. Our links are in the chat if you want to shop while you chat with us. That's very mm -hmm. possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so behind on the chat. Okay. Oh, Antoinette. Yay. She's dropped hers and has never broken them either. Woo. Yep. I know. Exa I know exactly what you mean, Antoinette. Cause yep. It's happened to me too. Yep. Okay. Antoinette. Oh, I just ordered from Shannon's link. Oh, thank you. Sneaking in while working. <laughs> Oh, I don't so get a diamond yarn bowl. It's great. Those are so pretty, Karen. I want to get one of those too. Yeah. Okay, Trisha. Thank you. Yes. So y'all, here are our links. So it's just O Fire and then our name. Yeah. Mm hmm Done. I love the smaller hooks, 2.5. Nothing bigger than a four. I get that. But they just feel better in my hand. The way that they're shaped, the way that they're crafted, just they just feel comfortable in my hand. I love, I just love how they feel. They, my hand doesn't cramp up. Yeah. You no. Know? I want to, Karen. I want to get a, a yarn bowl. Um, okay. Karen, you asked a question. Let's find it again. Hold on. All right. Miss Shannon, do you ever crochet one of the Friends characters in Amagurumi? So I bought the kit, unfortunately. <laughs> I bought the kit to do the Friends characters. I um, One of my friends is really into the show Friends. And she um, also likes Christmas. So I have been making the Friends kit book into little ornaments for her every year. But I have to say, I haven't made a person yet. But I do know that I have a lot of thoughts and I've been working on that review for over a year because all the patterns are really different. And so once I make a person, I will put out the video on the review on that kit. However, I also have Lisa Tori's book on the, the giant friends book. I have it over there, but I don't wanna leave the screen. Um, I did a review, well, a flip through on that book and um, I haven't made any of those, but I would probably do those before I would get the kit that I use. So, and the book is by more designers as well. Lisa Tori just put it together, but a lot of the designs are by different people, kind of like she did with Harry Potter. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I have never made an actual Friends character. No. Um, would you guys want to see Friends Tots? Is that something you want? Because I could look into that. Because when we get some more people, I'm going to ask you guys, um, who's that taught ideas? Because I need them. So, okay. Yeah. Um, in the chat. Dawn has a question. Uh, hold on, I'll find it. <laughs> um, uh, is this this one? But yeah, that one. Okay. Favorite project you have made? I have two. Go. One of them's behind me. Whoop, wrong way. Oh, yeah, the hexi cardigan. My, my hexi cardigan. I love making those. Love, love, love. Wearables and blankets are my two top things that I love to make. And this one for a blanket, my favorite blanket. This is my own design. And it's called my Lakeshore Blanket. Yes. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I love and, that one. And um, I have testers that are testing it right now. I'm so excited. My first testers. I'm so excited. Everyone can have the Lake I called it the Lakeshore Blanket because we live close to a lake uh, and it's a state park. And so I did bobble stitches to remind the pebbles on the beach on the shore of the lake. And then I did the wave stitch for the water. And I've got mm -hmm. the pebbles on both ends. So this is my favorite project. That is so beautiful. I love it. So those are mine. I don't have mine anymore. I would say that I think one of my favorites has to be I made a little monkey for my friend's daughter when she was about one, <laughs> and <laughs> almost four, and she sleeps with it every night. 
And not only that, I made her a play mat because their house is just wood floor. And when she was a baby crawling around, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't love that for her. So I made her a giant play mat out of, you know, Bernat yarn. Mm -hmm. And um, in the winter, it became her cover on top of her bed. Aww. And then her little sister was born and that became her crawling mat and then became Aww. her winter blanket. And now mm -hmm. she sleeps with it. So my stuff just became a hand-me-down. And it's like, oh, my God. Oh, so, yeah. so sweet. <laughs> Thank you all for those sweet comments. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it gets much better than that. Mm -hmm. I, also, I also love the slippers I made from my mom. She wears them every day. So that makes me feel good when I see them. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I really liked making Teresa's tot. The hair was so much fun to make. Oh, I put her. I'll be right back. If Kate, let me go get it. I'll be right back. Oh, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> that was not the point. <laughs> no, well, they want to see it. If they I haven't can't. seen it. <laughs> well, if they haven't seen it, then maybe they're not subscribed to our channels. <laughs> there she is. I absolutely love her. Ah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> we got some some beautiful comments. Mhm. Mm I would love to have it I would love to see the tutorial for that those slippers you were showing. Okay. No, oh, thanks Don. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, thanks Marina. <laughs> Teresa Todd is fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. So that's easy. Oh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I think I think those are my favorite things I've made. Well, I will show you guys, Sarah, since she disappeared, now I can disappear. And I'll show you guys probably one of the most rewarding things I made because it took forever. <laughs> what is she going to go get? <laughs> uh, Michelle's still here and lurking. Well, we're glad you're here, Michelle. <laughs> I'm still here. Follow my voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I did a Russian marathon crochet along. Don't do that unless you Russian? live in Russian. Yeah. <clears throat> Three days. They didn't care about the time zone difference. And um, basically, I crocheted three days without sleep. Oh, my. Oh, I remember you talking about. Yeah, you talking about that. Hello, Amy. Hey, Amy. I saw Paula, too, and Rika. Hi, girls. There she is. There's Miss Rika. <laughs> so she was on the live with me with Rose. Yeah, she was, cute. she was cute, but I don't recommend her. <laughs> <laughs> this designer got a lot of negative feedback after that crochet along. So, yeah. <laughs> Maritza! Hello. Hi, Maritza. Yeah, she's she's cute, but she's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I did learn some things making that. So I guess, you know, I, I learned techniques. I guess I can use it that way. But I made myself sick, y'all. Mm. Okay. Not sleeping for three days and being a spoonie already. Not good. <laughs> Yay, Rika, on your one Woo! year. Woohoo! Way to go. Oh, wait, wait. I know. I know how to do this. Hold on. Hmm? No, this one. Yes. Balloon! Yay! Oh, that's so neat. I forget how I do confetti. I think it's this one. Yes. Oh, that is so neat. <laughs> Hey, Heather, everything go okay? She was, 
She was late because of a doctor appointment. So everyone keep Heather in your prayers. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm sure everything's fine. Uh, no, Antoinette is getting sick. Oh, no. No. Here's some get well hearts. If it'll work. It'll work. It won't work, but I'm holding one up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay well while people are coming in i do have some little announcements here so i thought i would talk about that first of all we have to talk about we're trying to get Teresa to 2k so we have critters crochet road to 2k we have started that hashtag <laughs> on instagram and um she has asked me to make a pattern to go along with something she is making but neither of us will tell you what it is. Nope, it's <laughs> good. But it goes with it, which is kind of fun. And um, yeah, once she gets to two thousand, I will. Well, I will release mine. I don't know when she'll be done with. Her. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll be revealing mine when I get there too. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to reveal them at the same time because yeah. <laughs> well, I will not. I will not release mine until you tell me. I mean, we could even do a live if you want, so we, that like it's at that the same. That would be time. good. That would be good. But the exact same since time. You're, since, you're doing doing it for, for, since you're doing it to help me get to two K, we'll just do it together. I know, um, Don. I need to email you because I know there's a way for both of us to be on our channels live, right? Like we can connect our subscribers somehow. Don, are you there? Oh, really? Because I think she and Margie did that last night. Like they were both on. Like this right here would be on your channel as well as mine at mm -hmm. the same time. Yeah. I, don't know. I didn't know you could do that. That's what I think they did. Correct me if I'm wrong, Don. Okay. Well, well, Don is getting back to me. Um, the top contest has ended. The winners have been chosen. Winner. Sorry. Sorry. Winner. One. Sorry. <laughs> Win winner has been chosen. I have made the video and all the finalists' pictures are in the video because I thought that was very mm -hmm. fair. And um, I showed Teresa what the prize is. Teresa, do you approve? I highly approve. You guys are going <laughs> to die when you see this prize. Yes, it is fabulous. <laughs> even if you didn't win, you might want to see the video because if this is what I did for a prize, what would I do for a giveaway? You know, <laughs> so I'm hoping that video will come out Saturday. That's what I was working on, Dawn, by the way. She asked last night. Yeah. So um, what's coming up on your channel? I have more announcements, but you go. I'm going to take a sip. Oh, um, well, I have, like I said, the battling of the stitches every month. Um, we are and that's pretty much the biggest thing on my channel right now is the battling of the stitches. Mondays are just what I've been working on over the weekend. Fridays are anything that I've finished. And every once in a while I might pop up a Saturday if something comes up. Um, uh, I just, I show, if I go yarn shopping, I show you the yarn that I get. Um, I've, uh, I have a subscription to hooks and needles subscription box. So I, I show those when I get those in. So a lot of different things like that. Um, but uh, Shannon and I are collaborating again for next month. We have that coming up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we have questions coming up, Shannon. Yeah, we'll All right. Okay. What's your favorite yarn? Go. My favorite yarn? Um, Big Twist. I love it. Really? Yes, that's my favorite. I love Big Twist yarn. I thought you liked Hirschner's. Well, I do, but mm. I, as far as the specific brand of yarn. Mm. Okay. Hirschner's Hirschner's is where I order because right. they're the best online to order from on the planet, in so my true. opinion. So but true. as far as yarn, I do love Big Twist. Um, when I order from Hirschner's, ooh, I got to think for a second. Um, probably, let me see, I think I have some right here. I just did an order. I love, uh, they've got the Karen cotton cakes right now on sale. Oh, nice. And so I really love the Karen Cotton Cakes, too. I got to put up Tracy's comment. <laughs> she loves Big Twist and she cannot lie. And that's all I'm going to go. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all you get. 
Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the Hershner. I love Hershners too. It's mm-hmm. great. I think, um, well, Big Twist is one of my favorites and it's a go-to because it's like affordable. But mm-hmm. I, honestly, in my own perfect world, it would be Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. That's that's my favorite. It's soft. I love the thickness. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's what I'm making the mile a minute blanket with. I love it too. Yeah. That's great to make blankets with. Oh my gosh, because it's yeah. so soft. And um, yeah, I think that would be my favorite. But also, um, yeah, so I would say that both of us, we like four weights and yeah. um yeah. Rika's got a question. Yes, ma'am. What's that hot pink yarn behind you? Which one, dear? <laughs> There's quite a few. <laughs> uh, this one, this one, I don't, which one do you want? Because, here, I'll just tell you both of them. All right. This one is Big Twist <laughs> in hot pink. That's this one. This one is I Love This Yarn in Neon. Pretty. Mm-hmm. And I just got the bright, super neon one from um, Michaels. They have redone all of their, like, Craft Smart type yarn. I think they even rebranded it now. And the neon colors, whoa, they are so bright. <laughs> They're mm. so fun. And um, I want to do a review on them. Because some people were saying that they are the same thickness as um, Red Heart with Love. So I'm going to see if that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope that answers your question, Rika. If it does not, please type again. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I was just looking at that one. Mm-hmm. Is the cotton cake similar to the discontinued Lime Brand Comfy Cotton? Um, I think so. I think so. It's, um, it's like a, it's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like a twisted. If you can see that, see how it's twisted. Oh, it's a Z twist. Z twist. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's, it's pretty much, this is a four. This is a four medium weight. I think that's a little bit on the thin side. I would call it a three really, (laughs) but it's a little bit of a thin of a four. But it does feel and look very similar to the Lion brand. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Okay, Rika. Good. Yeah, that comfy cotton. You know what? I think I I know I have some comfy cotton. Let me get it and I'll put it side by side. I'll be right back. Okay. So this Sunday is national tea day and it was named that because it is also the day of um rest in peace queen elizabeth's birthday they started it in 2016 and uh y'all know i love tea so if you don't think i'm gonna do something special for that yes i am (laughs) i'm gonna have a very special video on sunday with my mama so you guys might want to mark your calendars for that one it's going to be tea related. Spoiler. <laughs> well, I fibbed. I don't have any of it. I thought I had some. But um, um, I'm sorry. I thought I had some on my shelf in the back, but I don't. It, but it is very similar, I think. Oh, I do too, because I tell you, I loved the comfy cotton. That is her oh. hecky cardi. Yes, that's my Hexy cardigan. I absolutely love it. She has a tutorial for another kind. Um, well, not for exactly that one. I said for it's another kind, yeah. For the granny mm-hmm. Hexy. Yeah, it's the granny hex- Hexagon Cardi. But I do have a tutorial up for that. Oh, maybe you should watch Sunday's video. Just putting that out there, Trisha. But I will tell you my favorite type of tea is red. Red rubos. It's so good for you. I was learning all these benefits about red tea. Oh, my gosh. Look into red tea, especially if you have health issues. So 
yeah, my, my favorite is red, followed by maybe herbal. I, I, lo I love black tea, but I have tardive dyskinesia and caffeine and black tea are, they're in a lot of black teas. So it's, it's very hard on my face. And, oh, we got a big comment here. Hold on. I got, okay. I got an email from Joe. Oh, are these going to be new or pet? I've not heard of those either. I've heard of t-shirt. I saw a t-shirt. Um, Prism and Rave are new to me. Yeah, I don't know anything. But I don't know. Maybe Teresa and I will have to go shopping so we can, obviously, for the channel. Oh. <laughs> we do what we can for the channel. I know. We we are such givers. We are. <laughs> we sacrifice for the channel. For the channel. <laughs> we need shirts. We need shirts. There's, there's, our, there's our new line. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I am a fruity tea lover. I love peach and mango and raspberry. Mm -hmm. Those are my top three. I love fruity teas. So same Antoinette. Same. That's what I'm drinking right now. Isn't that pretty? Oop. I just posted the pic on Spoonie's Facebook. Oh, okay. I'll have to go take a look at that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you guys are not a member of the Facebook group, it's like a membership, but it's free. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to do something that's similar to a YouTube membership that I haven't set up yet, even though they keep bugging me about it. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I know. But anyway, um, my Facebook group is really fun and they vote a lot. A lot of the stuff that you guys see on my channel that's been voted about, that's where the voting takes place. Um, I ask them, I give them polls all the time. I also mm -hmm. like to give them free patterns, you know, free written patterns. They just kind of show up. And um, they know about the sales before anybody else. I always get to my little group first. So I would join my Facebook group. I can link it in the chat if you guys want to. You have to answer two questions. Please answer them. They're not hard. Wow. So many people. So many you, people. you already know them. You know the yeah, answers. You do. You know the answers. It's really easy. But so many people just ask to join and don't answer anything. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Up, oh, Teresa, you got a question? Well, can you tell us more about the mainstay yarn with sparkle that you recently used for your bag? I haven't seen it before. Mm. Okay. Um, I've got the purple version. It's not. I don't have any more because I used it up with this bag. But it has a metallic thread that runs through it. Uh, oh, there was a little bit of a sparkle. <laughs> But it has a metallic thread that runs through it. Now, um, I got Walmart. It. Yay, there it is. It <sighs> is 100% acrylic. Um, and it's the the metallic thread. There, I've tried other yarns that have a metallic thread and it's really scratchy. This is not. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel scratchy. Um, but they had to, my Walmart ran out of it and they had some red heart uh, silver with the metallic thread in it. And I didn't like it. I like the mainstay better. And the reason mm -hmm. is, is because in the red heart, the metallic thread was constantly coming out yes. when I first stayed with it. This, the thread did not, the thread did not peel out at all. So if you're going to use a metallic sparkle thread, I highly recommend getting the mainstay and using it. Um, okay, Angela. Oh, see you later, Angela. Uh, let's see. What is your take on the community mentality that the X stitch? Crop, or do you mean the cross stitch, maybe? Is the no, best? No, no, the X versus the oh, V. But, oh, gotcha. Personally. Love regular single crochet always feels sad when people say X stitch is more pro. I, I design with the V. 
Okay. I, I designed that way. I have tried the X stitch. I do think it looks very nice. It looks great in cotton. If you're going to crochet amigurumi with cotton yarn, I would strongly recommend going towards the X just because it looks really clean. Um, but if you're just doing regular amigurumi, just do what you're comfortable with. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to have to look into that because I didn't know there was an X stitch for amigurumi, which I haven't done an amigurumi in a while. So <laughs> it's the yarn That's under thing. It's what? It's yarn under instead of yarn over. That's what. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Mm hmm. Thank you, Angus. But yeah, honestly, you know what? I, I just use regular. I just, I just crochet how I learned and I try new stuff, but I usually go back to what I learned. Mm -hmm. So don't yeah. be, don't be upset if people, you know, say, well, this is more pro, you know, they're just snobs. Okay. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't need, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. These are the same people who tell you not to buy so much yarn. Okay. Just ignore them. So, uh, Antoinette. Yes. Have y'all tried oh. Adagio teas? No. Uh, maybe. I have not. Not sure. I've tried a lot of teas. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Antoinette, can you tell me more about it? Please. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's go back to my little sheet here. Um, oh, yes. I forgot. <laughs> Sitting right next to me, too. I am working on another tutorial. Yes, an actual tutorial. Yay. <laughs> It's for this little guy. He's so cute. Can I show them mine? Yeah. She was a tester for me. I was a tester. I made one too. This is a tea bag buddy. They're so cute. <laughs> I gave mine red lips. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so cute and quick. It took me about 45 minutes to make it. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very quick. It doesn't easy. take very long. The hardest part is the folding, which I show you how to do. Mm -hmm. But it's really not that hard. It's easy. You can do it. And it's no sew. I don't consider embroidery for facial details and stuff sewing. Like when you say no sew, it should mean like this you have to sew on parts or not. So you don't have to sew on any parts. Um <laughs> okay i will look into adagio oh, yeah. thank you antoinette thank you tracy yeah he's so cute yeah that's what i made i made green tea <laughs> <laughs> so cute uh. what okay i think i missed something yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I don't know either. A fake one. Actual, as opposed to a fake one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Michelle. I, I feel like we missed something here. Learned about Adagio tea from Cinnamon Stitches. Oh, yeah. her, uh, she's the tea lady. All these tea companies keep asking her to do stuff. Tuesday tea with cinnamon. I would have a tea corner on my channel every week if I had the energy because I love tea. I've loved tea since mm -hmm. I was like this tall. Thanks, Heather. How did yours turn out? <laughs> she was a tester for me too. <laughs> so... This little guy will be a tutorial probably next week if you want to make your own. Oh, and he serves a function. He's not just cute. He's a bookmark. So cute. <laughs> I love that. So he serves a function. So he's great for book lovers, tea lovers, people who love both. Markets. 
It's K and K Crochet. Hello. 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 Hi. Okay, we, we send you hearts. Teresa, send me hearts. With hearts. Heather, I love um, peppermint tea too. Oh. It's sweet tea, but I love peppermint. Michelle, your brain is faster than mine. Yeah, I know, right? I, it's not a fake oh. one. It's just a scrolling pattern, okay? It's just the pattern goes across the screen and you can make it instead of me making it with you. That's not necessarily fake, but yeah, it's kind of fake. <laughs> Karen Lipton Tea is my husband's. I keep a pitcher of sweet tea at all times in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, that's a good one. So, yeah, for those of you who are new, um, Sunday is National Tea Day. And so yeah. um, I convinced my mama to make a special tea video with me for Sunday. She still won't show her face. But you can see her hands. <laughs> and hear her sweet voice. Yes. Oh, honey, I know. I know. Right? I thought it was a fun idea for a bookmark. Mm -hmm. And he goes along with the set. So we have Carmen, the coffee mug, if you're a so coffee cool. person. And then we have, we have Miss Tessie, the teacup, who has a <laughs> on her face. I love that. So cute. And it's mm -hmm. pink. Now we have, this is Thomas, the tea bag. So, yeah. Since we're talking about Amigurumi, the Kickstarter started today, so I feel like I should mention it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is, I think their official name is the Safety Eye Snapper. I did a review for this tool on my channel. Teresa got sent one too. Yeah, I have. Well, I thought I put it right there. Maybe it's in this drawer. I have too many drawers with too many things. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I really like it. Yeah. This this um this is the latest prototype. Yeah. And I, have to say, I think it works pretty well. I I wish mine had that bolt in the middle. Yeah. This is the early, this is the, the one of the first prototypes. So when they first started it, so. So this is by Craft Easy Tools. If you go to his Instagram page, you can go to the link for the Kickstarter. And um, basically you can sign up to get one when they make it out of the new material, which will be much stronger than plastic. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, you know what? Slow, slow crochet, nobody cares. It's fine. Keep, run your own race. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cute? <laughs> She's definitely one of my favorites. And she can be a pin cushion if you weight her. So these are all, these are, these are um, patterns on my channel already. So you can make these. Cute. And there's, oh, apparently yeah. I'm on a beverage kick. It's only going to get more and more. <laughs> I have so many ideas for patterns swimming around my head. <laughs> Earl. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. <laughs> Would his last name be Gray? <laughs> I just, I was about to say Earl Gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for, I guess I'll tell you guys. So I gave you a hint in the tutorial. These little guys are going to become very important on the channel like maybe different variations of them for like seasonal drinks mm. so yeah um okay i hit over three thousand yay oh my gosh i could not believe when that happened i kind of almost fainted um so obviously I should do a giveaway, right? I should do a giveaway. Not here. <laughs> but um, 
Although Teresa, we should do a giveaway together sometime. Like when we, we, both, when we both yeah. hit a big number, we should do that. That will be fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have decided so that I make sure that loyal subscribers are the ones that actually win. I have decided to hide the giveaway in one of my videos from May to June. So somewhere in there will be the giveaway and it'll be really good. Really good. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I have decided to do. So you might want to watch all the videos. It could be a new tutorial. It could be a tutorial. It could be a flip through. It could be a vlog. It could be any video I choose. So, you know, you might want to turn on notifications. And um, I don't think you'll figure out that there's a giveaway hidden in there just reading people's comments because I ask people to put in code words all the time mm -hmm. just to prove that they watch to the end. So, you know, don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you make one. They really are good bookmarks. Um, mm -hmm. Our friend Ashley, who isn't on the chat, but she usually is, um, she made it with DK yarn. Oh my gosh. I can't wait till you guys see the picture. It's <laughs> so cute. Aww. Cuter than mine. <laughs> she did a really good job and she made it in this really fine yarn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hmm. The colors she chose are really great too. I'm going to include my tester pictures at the end of my tutorial so that people can see. I think that'd be fun. So thank you, Kay and Kay. Earl Grey is your favorite tea. Yeah, that's a good pick. Mm -hmm. that's a good pick. Uh, okay, I have more here. <laughs> um, working on the pattern for Teresa, making my tutorial, pot contest winner, Sunday's video. Oh, yes. I've got patterns coming out this summer. So this spring may not be full of tutorials and lots of crocheting type fun on here. But this summer, I'm going to need testers because I have two things that I am going to need testers for. One, I have patterns for the summer that are coming out, which I might show you a sneak peek of later. Maybe. I do have them here if I want to. And then also, I am doing a huge crochet along in September. And I need testers for those patterns this summer so that I can start making the videos. Because I'm also a decade diva and I have to do stuff for October. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is my little segue. Teresa, take it away, decade divas. Yes, in October, <laughs> there are five of us. And I'm going to forget somebody I know because I do it every time. Shannon, mm -hmm. me... Mm -hmm. Amy from Hooked on Wishing. She's still here. Hey, Amy. And she's and Ashley from Gwen Spire Crochet and Sonnet. Did I get them all? I can't believe I got them all. Sonnet from, and what's her channel name? Sonnet, the Sonnet Silence. Silence. Sonnet Silence. Mm -hmm. The five of us are have each chosen our own decade. And we are well, not our decade, but a decade no, of our choice. Yes, our favorite decade, a decade that we like. Yeah. <laughs> and we are creating um, something to go on along with that decade. And each week in October, we're going to come on with each um, Wednesday, each Wednesday. Yeah. We're going to come on and we're going to share what we've created based on the decade that we've chosen. Speaking so. of which, do you think Heather would do you want to do two videos or because we decided Wednesday a long time ago? We did. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Two videos is fine because I usually I can. Um, it's a short one. The ones I do for the uh, Battle of the Stitches is a short video, so it doesn't take a lot of time. So I can do another video that day. It's fine. Right. Yeah. All right. So, guys, just turn on your notifications for Teresa so you get notified about both videos. Mm -hmm. It is cool, Antoinette. When so last year we did um, October Opals with um, Ashley at Gwinspired, and it was so much fun. We did it like a spirit week, but all three of us were exhausted, and it was. And I kind of ended up like 
in bed for three days. But um, <laughs> I wish that was an exaggeration. It wasn't. I really overdid it. But um, yeah, that that week was really fun, but really exhausted us. So we decided to try and think if we could do it weekly instead. Mm-hmm. And then we thought about adding more people. Mm-hmm. And I started to become friends with Sonnet. Teresa started to become friends with Amy. And so we were like, why don't all five of us Mm-hmm. Do this and then Teresa and I were talking one day and we kind of came across the idea like oh my gosh what if we did stuff with decades and that's where the decade divas were born mm-hmm. yes <laughs> yes so 23 people make sure you're liking the video please that does help mm-hmm. and just even if you're lurkers just say a quick hi let us know you're here just just, just say hi real quick <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm finally diving into the world of creating patterns and <laughs> so maybe in about another I'm thinking maybe another month you guys will probably be hearing about what I've I'm creating hopefully so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> hello Judy, hello Lisa. Hello, hello. So, yeah, that's what the Decade Divas, that will be in October. Mm -hmm. That is why my crochet along is in September. It will be, I don't want to say it's Halloween themed because that's not really true. It's spooky. Kind (laughs) of. I'm calling it 13 Nights of Nostalgia. And And that's your only hint. But I'm doing it in September for two reasons. One, the Decade Divas. I didn't want to have to mess with working mm-hmm. around that. And two, yeah. I thought, well, if you're making stuff that could possibly be for Halloween, before Halloween, you could use it to, like, decorate with or give as a gift or put inside a treat bucket or something. So, yeah, I thought of it that way. But anyway. Oh, Trisha. Do you have a pattern making process? Hmm. Well, I, the pattern that was in my head (laughs) that I wanted to do uh, is tapestry. It has to do with tapestry crochet. And so I use Stitch Fiddle um, to design my, what do you call it? Graphic, I guess you'd say. Um, It has a uh, cross stitch element to it and you can create a graph and that's what I'm using for my but um I just I don't know I get I get an idea from um something well we've already talked about this on our channels before but something trending for spring and summer is tropical so I've gone with that theme that that's the only hint you're getting <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else no, don't play. But I go with the tropical theme I'm going with the tropical theme for what I'm creating and designing and I use Stitch Fiddle to help me design it. And then I am just, as I go through my, as I go through my stitches, I'm counting and writing down every row. I'm writing the stitch count down and I've got my pad and pen pencil right beside me and I'm taking notes as I go um, so I can refer back to them. And then, yeah, and then once I get it all on paper and get it the way I want to, um, and it, I, I like the way I've written it, I will type it up. And then before I put it out there for everybody to see, I ask for testers to test it out because I don't want to put a pattern out there that has not been tested because I don't want you getting a hold of a pattern that's full of um, mistakes and errors and it's going to make you frustrated and you're going to give up if you choose to make it. So I test the patterns before I put them out to the public. So that's, I get that's, that's kind of the way I'm doing it. This is my first time diving into it. So that's kind of my process. (laughs) I've been doing it for about two or three years now. And um, I actually made a video on my process that comes out in about two weeks, I think. So, um, but basically I have an idea. I usually do a sketch. And then I have to decide if I need to make pieces first and try and crochet along with them 
or if I want to write it out first and then try and crochet. It kind of depends on what I'm making. Um, but yeah, I made a video all about my process because I have been asked several times, how on earth do you start designing? So, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, uh, Rika, it's helpful to have a pattern tech edit as well. Yeah. Mm hmm um, hello, Kim. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Kim. Alea! Hearts. Well, you are a perfect segue <laughs> because you are also an OFIRE affiliate. So, OFIRE is having 15% off if you missed it before because we announced it at the beginning of the video. But mm -hmm. there's 22 of you now. So, um... Yep. And oh, you fire. don't need a and you don't need a code to get to get it. It's just automatically fifteen percent off. And it's bowls, bobbins, accessories, stands, and hooks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Trisha. I put both of our affiliate links in the chat. And if you go over to Cozy Co's uh, channel, she has her affiliate links. So I would like you guys to also use hers. And yeah. You can shop while you chat. <laughs> I love to hear the different processes. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, okay. So I need your guys' help. Teresa, you can also weigh in on this. Okay. You guys, most of you should know that I do a series called Who's That Taught? Where I crochet somebody or something that's recognizable. Um, and I turn them into my little tot form. If you're new and have no idea what my tot is. Let me find the, how it all started little guy here. This is Timothy T. Tot. <laughs> T stands for tater. He is a tater tot, ha ha ha. And <laughs> because of this little shape, an army was born. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have Dobby. Dobby. We have hold on, there's more. We have Barbie. <laughs> I did Harry Potter characters. I did Christmas characters. I've got Charlie Brown characters. I'm working on more. I've got um Oh my gosh. I did almost all the Barbie outfits in the Barbie movie because I thought that was too fun. But anyway, I've also turned YouTubers into tots like Teresa. <laughs> I turned her into one. I turned Ashley from Go Inspired into one. I turned Tap Mama, um, Amanda into one. And yeah, so who should I do next? Should I do a YouTuber? I also just did, uh oh, where'd she go? I also just did Ella Enchanted on episode three. So I can do movie characters. I'd rather not do book because they, they don't have an image that I can kind of, I have to like make it up in my head. So um, if a book is also a movie, I can do that. But I would rather do something that's, yeah. So who should I do? Should I do Alea? Should I do Cozy Co? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should I turn her into a tot? Yes, you should. <laughs> I have not had recommendations to do Jazza, the um, art YouTuber, also Mariah Elizabeth. Um, I recently got recommendations. Actually, I have my list. Hold on. You guys gave me some really funny ones, and I'm tempted to do a lot of them. Um, mm -hmm. I love this series, though. It's so much fun. You guys get to guess before the video starts. There's actually a hint in every thumbnail. And I give you three clues. You get time to guess. First person who guesses correctly gets a shout out in the next one. And um, then I reveal what it is. And they don't have patterns that come with them, though, because I'm just making it just one for the channel. But if I make one that's really popular, I do write down what I do. So I can release it as a pattern if you guys really, really love it. But I will not do it for a YouTuber. I won't do it for somebody who's on YouTube. So those people, there's just one, okay? And then I try to actually send it to them. So it's just one forever. 
it's limited edition. They're the only ones who have it. So um, you guys gave me, here we go. Hot ideas from subscribers. Wizard of Oz. Disney's Phineas and Ferb. Beetlejuice. Smurfs. The Golden Girls. Support your local sheriff. <laughs> random. <laughs> Very random. <laughs> now adding Cozy Co. to the list. You've been warned, Alea. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of cute though. Mm -hmm. It will be cute. I've also done um, Caroline from Caroline for the Love of Crochet. I did that one for her birthday. So <laughs> I, think that was, I think that was my first episode. Mm -hmm. So, ah, uh, oh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Ooh. To be honest, I haven't seen it, but I still know what some of the characters like. I can look up there. Mm -hmm. Karen, I love those two. Charlie and Linus. Those were so cute. Thank you. Yeah, I I have those tutorials on my channel so you guys can make them. They're the Christmas edition, but Halloween is coming and they did make a Halloween movie. Just saying. So, um, mm -hmm. and I have been pestered by two subscribers. I will not say who they are, but I have gotten like three emails to do Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> they both want Lucy really badly. So hmm. she's harder than you think. Her hair is not going well. Mm. Oh, I bet that would be hard. <laughs> yeah. If you want it to have that cute little bubble shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can do the front, but the back is not looking right. We got a question here. Oh. Yeah, keep that idea, Tracy. Woodstock. I've tried to turn him into a tot, but I can try again. Whoop, wait. Any wait. plans for Earth Day? There we go. I honestly have not even thought about Earth Day. I've had so much going on <laughs> that I have not even thought about it. I... I, I like that um, Furls will plant a tree every time you purchase a wood product. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. Oh, we got greetings to Miss Alea. And, up. Oh. I want to! Yeah. I want to do that so badly. I want to do a Tot Nativity. I really do. I even want to make it like a crochet along so you guys can make it with me. Hmm. Maybe next year. That would be so cute. Maybe next year. But it, it is on the list. Antoinette, I have been working. I worked on it last year. Animals. They're not as easy as you think to turn into this little shape and still <laughs> look like, you know, an animal and not a deformed creature. <laughs> My sloth. <laughs> Your sloth is cute. Your sloth is cute. I tried. <laughs> oh. It got decent marks from my parents. Yeah. I forgot what I was typing. What did you guys just ask me? Cozy is going to hug a few trees in the name of Furls. Aw. <laughs> um. Kim, I've done a Grinch. Mm-hmm. I have a Grinch tutorial, and I have Max. Uh, hold on, my top bucket is right here. I'm going to disappear for a second. I've made quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where's my Grinch? Here he is. <laughs> and Max. Which one of you made his little antler thing on my Facebook group? 
Brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. I should have used a pipe cleaner or something. Um, I'll find Max in a second. I see another question. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. But again, we don't know what they look like. But, I mean, I could just make angels. Mm-hmm. And make them have really cool wings. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Yes. Um, I think it's part of the Christmas Tots playlist. Pretty sure. So you should be able to find it that way. Um, and I'll just show you guys since you're here. This was the last one. This was Ella Enchanted. So her movie turned 20. So I thought that was appropriate. It also makes me feel very old. <laughs> Cute. I really like how I did the hair. I think that turned out well. So here's Miss Caroline. I still have hers because I've asked her for her mailing address twice and she hasn't emailed me. So I still have it. <laughs> Um, let's see, you guys have any more ideas? Any more YouTubers you think should be turned into tots? Okay, thanks for stopping by. Bye, Tracy. Well, hello, Spoon. <laughs> Hi, Spoon. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing today? I send spoons your way. Have you made a spoony warrior? <laughs> so, um, I guess we can briefly touch on it, Teresa. So, oh, wait, hold on. Sarah. You know what? I think she'd think that's cute. All right. I think she would too. I think we should add her. I have no idea if she's here. She might be. She does follow me, I found out. So <laughs> you've been warned if you're here. <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Spoon. I was excited to find your channel. I'm a knitter, a spinner, and sometimes I crochet. You know, all fiber arts, you know, honestly, all crafting is welcome here. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I am not just a crocheter. I also bake. I also draw. I used to do polymer clay. I haven't done that in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I used to do some, like, hand weaving. I'm trying to think what other crafts I did. That actually was a question somebody asked me on my 2K video. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Follow Teresa, too. She has fun stuff on her channel. Hers is a lot less amigurumi. If you like amigurumi, you might, you might be more towards my channel. If you like garments and blankets, you might like her channel more. But follow us both. <laughs> Jada and Stitches. Oh, I love Jada. Oh, yes. She taught me how to do a granny square because for some reason, I could do anything but a granny square. I wish I still had a picture of my first granny square. You guys wouldn't believe what shape it was. Not a square. <laughs> my first blanket I made was for my daughter. And it started out square. The bottom was like this. And then as it went to the top, it went like this. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Mine was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it did. It was, it was bad. Yeah. Miss Shannon and Miss Teresa purchase a Furl's jumbo hook and you can save a tree as well. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. I want to be a Furl's affiliate. I think Furl's mm -hmm. is awesome. I love O-Fire, but I really like the new, the new like direction Furl's is headed. I, I really appreciate that. And I swear they've changed their resin. My new hook that I just got is so smooth. Like, I've never had a hook this smooth. It's really weird. But I still love O-Fire. Oh, thank you, Spoon. 
Welcome, welcome. Yay! Yes, follow all the channels. Yes. Um, I don't have a moderator. I was going to say, moderator, anybody who has a channel, you can link them, but I don't have one. Mm. <sighs> well, didn't think that through. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to add a moderator for this. <laughs> um, but do you guys want to see a sneak peek of a pattern that might be coming this summer? Let me know in the chat. That would. Heather says she can moderate. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can set you up. Um, uh, Kim told me how to do this, too. Well, may maybe next time, Heather. Um, I don't know if I... Well, let's see. Did I disappear? Am I still there? You're here. You're still okay. there. Mm, I think you have to set it up ahead of time. Well, thanks, Heather. But maybe next time. Um, well, we have one person who wants to see it. Does anybody else want to see it? It's really cute. It's not a top. Yep. So, um, oh, right click on their name, drop down moderator. Okay. Oh, you got to do it in the YouTube. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've, got it pull, I've got it pulled up. Do you think it'll let me do it? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Amy, she's still here. I'm trying to. Um, let's see. I can't figure it out. Sorry, oh. Heather. Sorry, hold on. Something weird is happening. Oh, you're okay. still here. Okay, there we go. I tried to, I went on there and tried to do it and I can't get it to work. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Sorry. Right. So this is the sneak peek. Ooh, Amy's working on, oh, how cute. Oh my word. That is adorable. <laughs> As you can tell, I haven't even shown Teresa. <laughs> so stinking cute. It's a fruit corgi. <laughs> so this is, well, you guys guess. what? Which one do you think this is? Which fruit? Thank you. <laughs> Any guesses? <gasps> yes! Woohoo! <laughs> so I am creating a little line of fruit corgis. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were cute. <laughs> so I have been designing them, and there will be one for like every color of the rainbow. <laughs> So, yeah, but it doesn't stop there because according to my friend Amanda at Crafters Autonomous, which you should go follow, um, I'm on a corgi kick. So I also came up with ice cream corgis. This is mint chocolate chip. <laughs> I probably didn't even need to show you, tell you that. You probably could guess. <laughs> we also have banana split. <laughs> So, so cute. I love those. <laughs> so there's a really good chance that not only could tots be a thing on my channel, but corgis could become a thing on my channel. Because um, I've been a corgi person pretty much my whole life. And I had a corgi. She passed away. We are in talks 
of possibly getting another one. <laughs> so these are my little corgi friends. And this one I really love. This was made in that yarn I did the review on, the My Ami. Doesn't it look good? Look at the stitch definition. That is nice. Oh, wow. Like, it's really crisp and clean. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. You guys want to make some corgis this summer? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Miss Tammy. How are you? So it is. This is banana, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla with nuts, whipped cream with sprinkles, and the caramel drizzle is the nose. So it's a it's an entire banana split. So cute. And there's a lot more. Oh, wait, I actually have my book. I can show you. You guys are so special. You can see the sketches, the first sketches. So cute. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love the mint chocolate chip. I'm not 100% sure I like the mint nose. I might change that, but everything else I like. Cute. So, yeah, and it's, you know, it's only growing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, eventually I will need testers, so. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, I I design mostly amigurumi, but I mean, I do make slippers. I do make, um, I have my glasses case that can also be a hook case. Um, yeah, I, um, I also did a review on this yarn, the new Hobie Toucan yarn. And I think I want to make some corgis in that. I actually think that they would turn out really cute. And, oh, okay, have you guys heard of this yarn? It's kind of secret. It's a little bit secret. Only a few channels are talking about it. It's called Big Twist Baby Bear. And it is so soft. It is massively soft. Oh, hey, Beverly. Hey, Beverly. Yeah, the French vanilla one is going to be really cute. I need to get, oh, okay, you guys don't know this because he's down, he's down in the boys' playroom because they confiscated him, but I have a big sloth <laughs> that is our mascot for Critters Crochet. I need to get some of that. I need to get some of that and make a sloth. It is so soft. I got these colors. So That many, would make a great sloth. Mini yarn haul. <laughs> wow. And tell me the name of it again. Baby Bear. Baby Bear. Okay. I don't know if it's limited edition. This, there's no sticker or I'm anything. Right but it was on sale a few weekends ago. I'm going to do a review on it. I already have a pattern in mind. Um, but, you know, while we're here, I'll just tell you guys. Uh, Baby Bear is 240 yards. 100% micro polyester. And it's, it says it's a six. Y'all, that's a four. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a four. Okay. It is, not a, yeah. it is not a six. No. Um, they want you to use a nine millimeter hook. No. No. Maybe you could get away with a five. But I would honestly use a four. 
I think a four would be good. Um, oh, it has that thing where it tells you how many you need. Okay. If you get four skeins, you can make a blanket. Four skeins, you can make a small sweater. One skein can make a hat. And two skeins can make a hat and a scarf. Hmm. And this color is vanilla cake. It is so soft, Alea. You have no, I mean, you have to feel this yarn. Oh my gosh. It is so soft and it's made, it is so made for like making baby stuff because nice. a, a baby would go crazy. This is so soft. Um, this color is shrimp. <laughs> I also have toffee. And this green one is sage. Yeah, I could have guessed that. <laughs> mm. And one more. I also have a darker brown. Brown sugar. Ooh, I like that. So those are the colors I got. They also had a like a blue and a purple, I think. Um Honestly, I can just look it up. Hold on. Get my little Joanne's app here. So I found out about it because some random person on Instagram, it was like one of the things I might like. And this woman was like, shh, did you know about this yarn? I was like, no. So, yeah. They have white, vanilla, peach, strawberry, like a golden color. Oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Quite wow, a few colors. Lots of colors. Oh, okay. Even some, even some variegated. So. Hmm. Sorry if it's like glaring, but you can just go to your Joanne's apps. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure all of you have. <laughs> yep. Unless you live in a different country, then of course I understand. <laughs> I do. I do have some overseas people. I know that. Um, yeah. Yum. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a bit crazy. <laughs> she called me an amateur. Here. Showed her my yarn. She said I was an amateur. <laughs> See those tubs? that are labeled ABC. <laughs> That's my winter yarn. My green yarn's behind me. And did I just see some antiquity yarn on that shelf? You did. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then over there is um, really, thick yarn that honestly I have got to figure out what to do with. I, I don't use size five usually and people got me size five and I don't know what to do with it. I might save it for my two yarn swaps that I have this year. Woo! Teresa, you should do a yarn swap with somebody. It's so fun. I, I would love to do that. That would be fun. What I hear you have a whole new crowd of Russian friends here too. Really? Hmm. Okay. Hi. <laughs> sure they were impressed with the spoonie that can keep up. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't recommend it, though. I got so sick. Mm. She's, talk she's talking about this, for those of you who yeah. are new. I did a mar marathon crochet along that took place in Russia, and the time zones didn't matter. And so, like, you know, the new piece of the puzzle would be released at, like, 3 a.m., and, um, yeah, it was not, it was not fun, but she is cute. So, <laughs> yeah, I did, Amy, this, you're talking about this. So, I did learn stuff, I guess. Hello, Angela. Hi, Angela. I want to live in a yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Are you sure about that? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. My nest is taking over. <laughs> but that's okay. So, yeah, I um I I like my stitchery. I do. And it's weird if I don't have it in the background of my videos, y'all don't want to watch. So, that's interesting. But um, I mean, I do film in other places in my house, but apparently if I don't have a wall behind me, they don't want to watch the video. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I like my stitchery, but I like the yarn that's on the wall. I don't like the yarn in the tubs. I don't like the yarn in the boxes. The boxes aren't as bad. The tubs are not, I, they don't look aesthetically pleasing. And I really don't like the little baskets of yarn I've got. The one behind me is different. I made that yarn. I'm happy with it. But, and there's nowhere else to put this yarn. I mean, it's huge. It's my, it's my thick stuff. There's nowhere else to put this. So I created a giant basket for it. Yeah. I watched, I was watching, um, <laughs> oh, Juan, the yarn addict. Yes. I love watching him. I was watching him the other day and he was making magic cakes out of his stash. So it's smart. Incredible. So he's inspired me. You going to do it? I have tons of it. He, you know what he does? And I, when I saw him do this, I went, duh. You know, it's one of those things where, why didn't I think of that? Mm -hmm. He makes a slip knot in the end of his yarn before he starts winding and then that slip knot hangs out and that's his center pull when he takes down his cakes. Oh, uh, okay. I thought genius. I mm -hmm. thought that was genius. So yeah, my, I've got a wall back here that my, uh, this way that my son is going to put a pegboard up on. So I'm going to make up all, the, I've got one, two, I think three big totes full of, <laughs> And it, some of it is not just what I used left over, but it's people have given me yarn and it doesn't have the yarn bands or anything on it. And so I want to cake all of that up and I'm going to make a yarn wall on that pegboard. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> you may see that. In the future, before, right? Before too long. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree that I showed Teresa yesterday. A little. Mm-hmm. It's a coin purse. But it's so cute. I've got to go to the Dollar Tree. It's a keychain. And I was thinking it would make a great little like travel notions kit. You could fit a needle. You could fit not a tape measure, but you could fit some stitch markers. You could probably fit the, the small, small pair of scissors, like the foldable. The foldable. Cards. Yeah. The foldable yeah. scissors. Yeah. And there you go. And then you just like attach it to your bag or something. Wouldn't that be cute? They came in lots of colors. Look what Marina said. Oh, yes. Yes, it would. That would be awesome. Yes. Okay. <laughs> writing that one down, Marina. Yep. That would be fun. I wrote that one down. The yarn wall would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> So look, they've got this purple one, blue. I got every color. Of course I did. This pastel pink one is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Electric lemon. And they sparkle. Mm -hmm. I love the sparkle. And wasn't there a white one? Yes. Here's a white one. So, yep. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday because I had to get blood drawn. And there's a Dollar Tree next to the hospital. Um, they have some new cosmetic bags that would make good. Ooh, that's pretty. I think you'll like this one, Teresa. Oh, <gasps> yes. Pink all the way. I love that. I got two of those. Got this love one. It's pretty navy in it. And oh, oh question. Heather has a question. Ah, uh, well, I the reason I prefer crochet over knitting 
is because I can't knit to save my life. <laughs> Guys, I really have put oh. effort in to try. I have tried several times and I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe, maybe because you're using both hands and I'm just not coordinated enough. I don't know what it is, ah. Heather, but I cannot get it. And um, I picked up crochet really quickly, but for some reason, I just cannot get the hang of knitting. It just doesn't click with me. So that's why I prefer crochet. I honestly think a lot of people that I've talked to, it's what they learned first. Right. Like yeah. they learn to knit, they prefer it over crochet, but they might be able to do both. Mm -hmm. But it's whatever you learned first. Now, in my case, that's not true because my aunt taught me how to knit before I learned to crochet from a little lady in the back of a church. But I don't like knitting. I can knit stitch and I don't really enjoy it. I have a scarf that I've been working on for six years. Oh, wait. Nope. It was six years in that video. Now it's like eight years. That's sad. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, well, I, do, I, I do agree with Marie. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, and I see Cozy's comment. I cannot Tunisian. I can't do it. I cannot wrap my head around it. I, I finally to. figured it out. You did? Oh, yes. Yay. But it's because it's a small project and I can use my crochet hook. The, the long, those long Tunisian hooks, mm -hmm. I cannot, I can't do Tunisian. I can't get my tension right with those. Mm. And, but I use, I've got a small project and I used a regular crochet hook and I did it. I am doing it. Let me see if I can find. Marina, that's a really, really good point. Yeah, crochet is faster. Yes. Um, I saw a video recently of this girl who made a skit. Okay. He was talking about knitting versus crochet. And he mentioned in the skit that knitting is like, you know, really great for garments and um, it's because of the drape and everything. And then crochet is fun for like amigurumi and faster, quick projects for the kitchen mm -hmm. and stuff. I think honestly, that's a great way to look at it. I'm using a four millimeter hook. Oh, way to go, Teresa. We got a way to go here. Woohoo! That's so gorgeous. And I figured it out. I can't believe I did it. I have been trying to do this off and on for months. And it, I can do it with a regular crochet hook. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to get on like Facebook, yeah. Facebook video and you're going to have to teach me because mm -hmm. I can't learn from anybody. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, co yes, it is addictive. I, I don't want to put it down, but I've got other stuff I have to do. <laughs> So, yes. You got a... Up oh, thanks, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Oh, I had a question up here. Where did I find them? Okay, so I found the little... These with, like, the makeup and stuff in the Dollar Tree. These were with, you know, makeup and... Um, Honestly, I think they were underneath the makeup. And then the little coin purses were in the very front in those little like bucket, little plastic buckets they have once in a while. Sometimes they have keychains in them. Sometimes they have pens in them. This one had these. That's that's where I found them. I hope that helps you. Oop. I, I'm sorry, guys, but I have a husband who's going to be home in about 20 minutes and he's going to want dinner. <laughs> and I've got to go and pick up dinner. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I hate to cut this short and get off here short, but you guys keep talking to Shannon and have fun. I, but I really do need to go. No, thank you so much for doing this with me. It was really great. Mm -hmm. um, Teresa does not have a live tonight. Just so you guys know, there's no live tonight. This was, no. it. <laughs> this was it. And um, I do a live every other Thursday. But not this year. I mean, not this year. Not this month because Shannon and I are going live together again the first Friday in Ma uh, May, May mm -hmm. 3rd. May 3rd. Is that right? Mm -hmm. May the 3rd. We're going live together. So I won't do another live on my channel either because I'm going to be live with Miss Shannon on the 3rd. So you guys tune in for we're going to announce what we're doing as our collaboration for May. So tune in to that so you get all the details. 
All nine, right. 9 p.m. my time, 8 p.m. her time. Yes. But I, I will put out a banner. 8, 8 p.m. Central, 9 mm -hmm. Eastern. Yes. Okay. I've got to go. Love you guys. One, 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 one. Thank you. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. I'm still here for a bit, though, guys, if you guys still want to ask I don't questions. know if you have to disconnect me or if I do it. I think you can leave. I'm pretty sure. Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, I do plan to start learning to knit this year. Um, I want to have the skills. I like learning a new language. Yeah, I get that, Marina. I do. Oh, that's pretty. That's a great reason, too. Yeah, they would look really great. I know that Elise from um, Elise Rose Crochet, she crochets her little animals and then knits their outfits. Oh, so cute. Okay. Yeah, you let me know, Michelle. And it honestly, um, if you want to email me, you can. Um, don't know if I can help you any more to find them, but I can try. <laughs> Very cool, Becca. Oh, Heather's off to tend supper as well. Okay. And then have a blessed evening, everyone. Okay. Well, I am still here for a bit. So if you guys have any more questions, I'm still here. <laughs> Um, I think I can be on here another 15 minutes. Yes, good night, Heather and Karen. It was so great for everyone to come. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. This was this was a fun live. I think it was a fun live. Um, so I've got a question for you guys if you don't have oh oh no, you have a question for me. Never mind. How long does it take you to make one tot? Oh, it depends. I made Ella in one day. That was designing and making her. Um, but I was also on a bit of a time crunch. Uh, I realized I only had like a couple days to make her. But I would say typically the design process plus making it about three days. Because sometimes, you know, trial and error does not go well. <laughs> the error part <laughs> is much bigger. <laughs> so, eh. <laughs> As a spoonie, I agree. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would say about three days with the whole process. But if it's something that I'm pretty sure like I've made something similar and I can kind of whip out ones that I think are on the same way, like the same way I designed, I'm not wording this well. Basically I made Barbie. So I was pretty sure I could make Ella. Okay. So um, that's why it only took me a day. Hope that makes sense. Do you use one of those crochet lights that wraps around a neck light? Yeah, I do. I do. I use um, LED GLE. Here, I'll put it in the chat. That is the brand that I use. But my friend Amanda at Crafters Autonomous, she really likes the one she did a review on. Um, I forget the brand. But she says that one's really good. And I'm looking into that one. And she's a spoonie like me. So. Hello. Yeah, but see, tots are not. There's not a lot to them. So tots should not take you long. And honestly, you if you follow one of my tutorials, you're not doing the designing part. So it should only take you a few hours <laughs> instead of a few days. So um, I would say 
somebody else making my pattern, my pattern testers have been able to make them in under 90 minutes. Yeah, and that's with crocheting on details and stuff like that. So an hour to 90 minutes. They're pretty quick. And, you know, the more you make them, because they have a similar shape each time, the faster you get. And they're really great for beginners. I have, well, the Grinch one that I showed earlier. He is like my basic tot that you can do stuff to. Um, and so you can always. Yes, that's it. That's the one she was talking about. Hello, Gothbird. I came in super late, so you may have already answered this. What is your favorite yarn for Amagurumi? I technically didn't. No, I am really loving this new yarn from Hirschner's called My Ami. I did a review on it on my channel. It's the one where it looks like yarn is making a color wheel in the thumbnail. Um, it came out so clean. I really like how it looks. I can see myself making a lot more from this yarn. So, yeah, if you guys can see the stitch definition... I really like how this looks. And it's a DK, which normally I don't go towards, but it doesn't feel like a DK. It doesn't feel like I'm using something that thin. It actually feels more like a really thin worsted weight yarn. It does have cotton in it, but it's a cotton blend, and so it doesn't hurt my hands. So I hope that answers your question. I also go to, um, you know, standard 100% acrylic all the time. <laughs> all the time. And um, yeah, so I love worsted weight yarn acrylic and I love the new Miami cotton blend. Just looks really great. Okay, Michelle, I will look into it. Now, so many people are telling me about that one, so I should look into that. Maybe I will do a review. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I guess I can be persuasive. <laughs> Yeah, I I like that yarn a lot. It looks so good, right? I mean, it looks really clean. I don't know. I'm just really happy with the stitches. And um, this is my pineapple corgi, if you missed it. <laughs> it's a great one, and it's well-priced. It's on Hirschners.com. Well, hello, Alex from Texas. How are you? Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you, Marina. <laughs> yeah, I, um, it's funny. I never wanted to make amigurumi when I started to learn to crochet. I thought, I don't want to do 3D. It's hard, you know, just not, not what I wanted to do. And then a few years ago, I've been crocheting since I was 10. I am not anywhere near 10 anymore. <laughs> but um, but uh, a few years ago, I decided to try Amagurumi. And um, yeah, so now I'm, uh, pun intended, hooked. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Marina. Yeah, 15% off today, people. Oh, fire, just saying. If you're interested, I will put my link in the chat again. You can always chat and shop. Wonderful, Alex. I teach beginners. I have an entire beginners playlist on my channel. I go all the way starting at what do you actually need to start crocheting all the way to every time we learn a stitch, we make a project and you feel accomplished. Even chains and slip stitches, you can make projects with just those. If you want to learn amigurumi, I have got an entire playlist all about beginner amigurumi and my tots are where you start. See how simple that is? 
It's just this shape. It's very easy. I also teach you how to make a ball. So you can just make a little ball. It's very fun. I have. I got those for Christmas and they are nice. They are really, really nice. <laughs> um, I don't know if I like them more than my resin streamline, except, of course, if I'm doing amigurumi, then I have to use metal because using amigurumi and resin is a terrible idea unless you are using a very thick resin hook, like a six and a half to a 10 millimeter, and you're using, you know, really thick yarn and stuff. I mean, my Broadway bears and stuff and this guy. My little, my little bug over here. This is a pattern by Dear Jack Stitchery. It was very fun to make. She is made out of a six millimeter, I think. And I used a furls for that. Yes, Marina is correct. Oh, hold on. I missed one. Aw, thank you, Marina. I try. What hook size do you normally use for your critters? Um, I go for these little guys. I go anywhere between a four to three point two five. Not a very big range. <laughs> no worries, Alea. It was so great to see you. Mwah. You might want to. Those are great sizes for amigurumi, especially. I highly recommend furls. I love my O-Fire. I am an affiliate, but I love furls. I think furls are great. I made an entire video all about my furls collection, which is also on my channel. <laughs> I made an entire like series of every hook in my collection, which I still have not finished making. I collect hooks. What can I say? Um, yeah. So <laughs> I, I love furls. Furls hooks are great and they're only getting better. But if you like resin, O-Fire is really fun and very affordable and 15% off today. So I'm going to put my link if you guys want to check out O-Fire. Even if you just use my link to check out the site and don't buy anything, it tells Ofire that you liked my link. So that also helps me. I hope that answered your question, Gothbird and Tammy. Both of you. <laughs> now, if you are a beginner who is just learning to crochet, a four millimeter is really great. If you want to just learn, I would say anywhere between a four and a five and a half is a really great range. Honestly, a six too. Yeah, four to six. You might want to try it. They're really nice. Let's see one you can actually see. Here we go. They're slick, which is really nice. This is an inline. But even if you're used to a tapered hook, it's okay because you get used to it really fast. So, yeah, I, I like my O-Fire. I like my furls. I also do really like my clover. I have clovers as well. I teach with Clover and We Crochet Dots from We Crochet because it's just easier for me to teach y'all with um, metal hooks. For teaching, it, it's a little bit faster for me. And so um, I really like the smoothness of the Clover and the We Crochet Dots. So I teach with those. I have been asked that before, why I teach with metal, but I show resin all the time. <laughs> I think metal is really good to teach with. So, yeah. 
So look for this tutorial very soon, my sweet little tea bag to go with our little tea friends. Well, beverage friends, because coffee is not tea. And uh, remember that he is also a bookmark. So one more time for those who are new. Just place him in there. Whoops, it's hard to do up in the air. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? <laughs> so he is coming to the channel probably next week. I am editing the tutorial now. My mother and I will be on on Sunday. Yes, you will not see her face, but you will hear her voice and probably her hands. <laughs> um, it's going to be a very tea-related video because it is National Tea Day. So, Usually use metal. I've been crocheting for a while. Came back to it in 2023 after a four-year break. Yep. Mm-hmm. I get that. What is the colorful little amigurumi behind you? Okay. This one? This is the Yarn Ball Bunny by Lauren Espy. It's a free pattern on her website, or you can buy her little bunny bundle. So this is like a yarn ball that's a bunny, and there's a little crochet hook. Isn't it cute? I love Lauren Espy. Her patterns are amazing. Here's a little yarn tail. <laughs> Isn't it cute? This is made out of the neon, I love this yarn. And this is, um, I think this is also, I love this yarn. Yeah. This is, I think it's called the odd bug or the ugly bug or something from Dear Jack Stitchery. It's supposed to be this big. I made it in blanket yarn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no worries, Heather. <laughs> yep. I also have this. Um, this was given to me by my friend Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. Um, this is her pattern. This is Mr. Purr's a lot. And she made this one. This was my gift. Yeah. She's actually been in my house. She knows where I live. <laughs> yep. We're friends. And, um, so if you don't follow Crystal at Chronically Crocheting, I highly recommend it. She doesn't make videos a lot. She is a spoonie like me. And you know what? Life is tough. <laughs> But we're here and we do what we can. She has an Etsy shop. Um, I don't know if I can link it. If I can, you guys should check out her Etsy shop. She has like different versions of this. So as I have different versions of my tots, she has different versions of these little cute little domey animals. She has a dog, a gnome, the cat, a unicorn, and a frog. So I would check her out. So that's what this one is. Um, these are woobles. I did a review on the Fox Wooble Kit. And um, if you want to know what I think, I have a bunch of woobles videos. <laughs> but yeah, I made this one. And then I made this one with my own yarn. And then for Valentine's Day, I turned them into Maid Mary and, and Robin Hood <laughs> from Disney. <laughs> The little hats did not come with the pattern. I made those up. So, yeah. <laughs> They're in my background for now. My horse, my unicorn, my blue unicorn, is one of the first um, horse amigurumis I ever made. So, she is made with an 8 millimeter hook. Uh, not the best choice I ever made, but I didn't know what I was doing. Um... And she turned out okay. So yeah, that's that's what's in my background. 
Is there anything else around here? Well, I've also got my love bugs that I made for February. You guys made these? My little love bugs. This is Lorna. This is Ludwig. They are love bugs. <laughs> they are no so. Yep, completely no so. They are a pattern on my private Facebook group and my Instagram. So if you go there. Thanks, Marina. Aren't they cute? I do. I've used tulips. I have tulips. I have Etimo, Etimo Red, and Rose. I've used all three. I think they all three have pros and cons. Um, I think my favorite is the red. It's a lot like the clover slickness. So, yeah. Tulips are your favorite hooks? Yeah, I know a lot of people who do amigurumi that tulips are their favorites. Um, I believe my friend Aid in Singapore, her favorite is tulip. Um, do I have... I don't know where I put it. Hold on. Is this it? Yes. I don't know if I have a... I don't have a finished picture of it, but anyway, my friend A designed a little bunny, and this is as far as I got. I made the basket with the carrots. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Have you made a fairy, dragon, or mushroom tot? I have not. Let's add that to the list, shall we? Would you guys like more fairy-ish, fairy tale-themed, fantasy-themed stuff on my channel? I can do that. You just got to tell me. Fairy, dragon, mushroom. <laughs> mushroom would be cute. <laughs> I feel like my clovers are slicker than my tulip red. Yeah. I, I think that's why I like my clovers too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to know, Marina. Ooh, ooh, yes. <laughs> a gnome tot. A dachshund tot. Oh. Um, you want a dachshund tot or do you want a dachshund pill pal pet? You know, the little oval ones, which are nowhere around me. Um, well, I feel bad because... Teresa's not here to keep you guys company, but uh, one second. So my pill pal pets are little animals that look like pills because <laughs> I'm a spoony Madison. It's funny. Anyway, so I have a bunny. I have an elephant. I have a kitty. Two kinds of bears. And then Franken Poo, which will be a pattern this Halloween, I promise. I know a lot of you wanted to make Franken Poo last year. I got you. Um, and then recently I was request for cow, corgi, and what was the third one? Oh, the elephant. 
So I am going to write down gnome and dachshund for tots. And then I will also write it, I will write dachshund for pill pal pet. I think that would work better than a tot, but we'll see. <laughs> yep, exactly. Anything Dixie? Based one. Oh, okay. Aw. I need to make more of those. Are they listed in your videos? These? My pill pals, they have a whole playlist for them. I also have a playlist for just my tots. And then I have a playlist that's just tutorials in general. That's also like my tips and tricks and making like my glasses case and um, the stuff I had you. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> this is why I edit videos. Um, <laughs> ah, the stuff that I had for my Christmas cow which was not Amagurumi. Um, all of those are in like the tutorial playlist. And then I also have um, my Harry Potter tots are separate, but they're, they're still in with all the tot tutorials, but they also have a Potter tot list. I also have a Pill Pal Pet list. I have a Christmas tot list. So, I mean, you guys should be able to find it. If you can't find it, email me. Yeah, no problem. So the elephant is not a tutorial yet. Um, I am working on him. But according to my Facebook group, which you guys should join, it's free. I will put the link in the chat. If you would care to join, you only have to answer two questions. It's very easy. You know the answers already. Trust me. If you've seen any of my videos, you know the answers. That is the link. It is now in the chat. And um, they voted for cow. They want the next Pill Pal Pet to be a cow. So I guess that's what I'm making. It was cow, corgi, and elephant. And it was like neck and neck with corgi and cow for a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. But you guys should join the Facebook group. It's really fun. I have I do free patterns over there. I also do extra patterns that only the Facebook group gets. I also let them vote. Lots of polls. Um, they help me decide on the types of videos I make. They also get to see the sales first. Like even before my YouTube videos, I put up the announcement for the sales in my group. Um... And any kind of like schedule change or stuff like that, they know about first. So it's really fun over there. Plus, we also have chats. I need to figure out how to do like a Facebook live chat with just my group. I think that would be so fun. So, yeah, if you guys don't have any more questions, then I will go but I will give you a few minutes. You can ask anything. And if you wanna know about a specific theme or something like, do you have a tot of this? I can tell you yes or no. But I definitely think I should work on maybe some fantasy themed things. Um, that's good to know. That is good to know. So yeah, I will just ask you guys real quickly, what kind of patterns do you wanna see on the channel? You can give me themes, you can give me specifics, you can tell me you know, if it's a non-amagurumi thing. I do make other things, so yeah. I've enjoyed being in your live chat. Aw, thanks Angela. Trisha, what's your favorite tot that you've 
made so far. Ooh. Mm. That's a good question. Well, let's see. I do really love my corpse bride. I think she turned out really great. I even included the little poking out rib cage. <laughs> ah, this is part of my Tim Burton collection, which is growing. <laughs> yeah, so I think she's one of my favorites. Um, I also, well, I'm really proud of this one. And you guys might get this one this year because you have Jack. So I figured maybe you should have zero. I'm so proud of the tail. The tail worked. I'm so happy. It's one piece. I'm so happy the tail worked. So, yeah. I made zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. But I think my all-time favorite tot has to be... <laughs> Disco Ken. <laughs> he turned out so great. <laughs> I even did the little initial on his um, jumpsuit. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I, I think he has to be my favorite. He just turned out so great. <laughs> so, yep. Have you ever crocheted any Pika Pow patterns? No. I have two of the books, but I have never actually crocheted them. But Elise Rose Crochet and Craftably Ever After, those two channels, they crochet those all the time and do reviews constantly. So I would check out those two channels if you want to know about those. Thank you. I know I love zero too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. He turned out pretty cute. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of him. My favorite fluke has to be this one. I was going for Wolfman, but we all know he looks like the big bad wolf. <laughs> Not a wolf man. But he turned out pretty cute. <laughs> so. Now I just need like three little pigs or Red Riding Hood, right? <laughs> Should I do fairy tales? Do you guys want to see fairy tale tots? Ooh. That could be fun. Hmm. Do you guys want to see fairy tales? Marina says yes. That'd be cute. Okay. Fairy. <laughs> Hi, Suki. I know that name. You have been in my lives before. So I did do my monster ones and you guys were really disappointed that this was not a tutorial last year. So I think maybe I will bring back the creature from the Black Lagoon this year. I think he might need to come back. So fairy tales. Okay. Any specific fairy tales you guys like specifically? Any favorites? Hey, hello, friends. Do, do, question. Best method to attach a keychain to a tot. Okay. Uh, I would say it depends. But honestly, if you could start out your magic ring with the keychain in it, that would probably be the most secure. Um, I might have to work on a tutorial to show you guys exactly how you would do that, but that might be the most secure way. But if you're doing it after you've already made it, 
then you need a jump ring and you need to like physically attach it inside probably the head. I don't know why you'd attach it to the bottom, to the head. And then you need to kind of sew it with like some embroidery floss or some crochet thread or something strong so that the jump ring is going to stay. And then of course, attach the keychain. A lot of Snow White. Okay. Snow White would be fun. I agree. I don't know if I'll make all seven dwarves, but maybe I'll make a dwarf base and then you guys can make seven if you wish. <laughs> I think we might have to do some fairy tales, y'all. You seem interested. Disney princesses. Ooh, that could be interesting. Okay. I will look into that. Thank you. Yeah, I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> Hello, Moonrose. Yes, I'm the host. I'm Shannon. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is there going to be an animal pill? Oh, hmm. that's an idea. Do you mean like making them or like winning ideas or something? Like, should you guys turn in sketches? Maybe the winning sketch I make. I see your question. One moment. I can't text as well as I'd like. There we go. Okay. Villains. Okay. Yeah. Villains would be fun. Oh, imagine what Ursula would look like. With like the teeny tiny little tentacles sticking up the base of the tot. That'd be so cute. <laughs> Yeah, like maybe maybe you guys should turn in some drawings and maybe we should have a contest and I I design the the winning picture. I don't know. That's an idea, Suki. I wrote it down. We'll have to see. Any more fairy tale ideas? What you guys would like tots to be? No worries. It has been fun. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I think I can stay on until 6.30 and then I need to go. But, um, yeah. But anybody else, we can stay and chat. Anyone who's here. Bye, Moonrose. Bye, PCR girl. Sleeping Beauty. Mm. Another dragon. <laughs> Y'all want a dragon, don't you? Okay, I'm going to have to... I'll have to see if I can make a dragon. I knew what you meant, Suki. So you want Snow White, Disney princesses, villains, and Sleeping Beauty. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will say I've been working on a new kind of tot, but I won't say exactly what. And it does have to do with Snow White. I've already shown a couple people my concept and, uh, oh, I hope it works. <laughs> fairies. Yep. Fairies in general. That would be fun. I did do Tinkerbell. Is she here? I did make Tinkerbell in my design with me. I just made her on the fly. Um, she's so small. I don't know if she's in here. She is a teeny tot. She's like this big. So she's also easy to lose. I <laughs> uh, don't know if she's in here. 
but I can show you how big she is because of this one. So this is not her, but this is how big my Tinkerbell is. This is Boo from Monsters, Inc. She is a teeny tot. So this is a tot. This is a teeny tot. See the difference? <laughs> but I did make Tinkerbell. So yes, fairies are very possible. Oh my, are you, are you okay? Everyone please be safe. <laughs> yes. Cinderella or fairy godmother? Uh, who says or? <laughs> Why can't we have both? Fairy godmother. Okay. Spooky tot like creature. Like, did you not see? I made him. See? These are his fins. He is a terror tot. That is the classification. Every one of my tots have like a... Um, words collection they're a part of a collection so yeah he is probably going to be coming this fall i made him i just need to put him out there into the world so yeah but i've also got dracula frankenstein i made jack hold on for my spooky friends hold on i made Ah. Okay. I've got a mummy. Jack Skellington. Oh, wait. This one's better. Has detail in the little tie. Um... I've got Frankenstein and his wife in here somewhere. We also have a ghost kitty tot. <laughs> and Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I also have an entire Potter tot collection. Dracula. Here he is. Here's Frank. And Liz is in here somewhere. Here she is. Bride of Frankenstein, or Liz, as we like to call her. I also made a teeny tiny little witch, which is supposed to be Elphaba from Wicked. Blend is in here somewhere. So yeah, I've made I make spooky. I've got spooky in here. Oh, I also have Oogie Boogie. <laughs> With the little spider. Yep. Oh no worries. Uh I can't help you if you don't know her name. I'm sorry, I don't know her name. No, I have not. I have not done any version of Ariel, whether it's live action, Disney, or Hans Christian Andersen's book. I haven't done any. So I'll add that. No worry, Kim. Yeah, watch the replay. Put in the comments what you want to see. No worries. Jason. Mm. I don't know. I guess I could do horror movies as long as I made them cute. But I will tell you right now, you will not see it on this channel. I have colorophobia. And it's a pretty severe case. So none of that. But um, I could do Jason. Um, I could do 
the guy from The Shining. Um, I could even, maybe I could do a shark. Maybe I could do Jaws. I don't know. I will write that down in a moment. Wednesday Adams would be cute. Yes, I made burial. That's correct. Um, I have my things called Broadway Bears, which they're both upstairs. <laughs> but I have a Broadway Bears collection where I make like a Build-A-Bear version type bear of a Broadway show costume. And I have made Burial and Phantom Bear. And I am working on my Wicked Bears. So, Wicked. <laughs> but I have not made an aerial tot. And I think that's what she was asking, but I will write it down. Along with Jason. I'm guessing you mean Friday the 13th. Yes. It's the only Jason I can think of. Oh, Wednesday Adams. Right. Sorry. Almost missed that one. There we go. I have no idea how I would make thing. But all I was thinking of was like a pedestal and then somehow a hand on top of the pedestal or something. Would that still classify as a tot? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm fascinated by the idea of trying to make thing into a tot. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate that idea. Um, honestly, Carrie could be kind of fun with the blood. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'll think about it. I am doing a spooky crochet along with Tots um, this September. So be looking out for that. It's going to be really fun. Why September? Because first of all, I have Decade Divas in October and that's going to take up most of October, but also you guys will have this stuff done in September so you can decorate with it or give it to people in October. How nice is that? Zodiacs. Uh, I only believe in 12. Sorry, we don't do 13 here, but Zodiac would be cool. And the reason I don't believe in uh, 13 is because it messes up mine. So I don't... <laughs> I. I don't do 13, but <laughs> yes, I know the animals. Yeah. That could be really cute. <laughs> so for the few people who are left, um, are you guys excited about a possible, well, no, it's going to happen. It will happen. My, my spooky crochet along this September. Also be watching Teresa's channel. Um, she is doing battle of the stitches with Heather at strings and threads. And then we are going to do a collaboration in May that has to do with Alice in Wonderland. So, um, I guess you guys will get some more fantasy stuff. Um, Gothbird. No, but I did make my Franken poo, which he's not in here, is he? He is not. But I do have my Franken poo. He is like a pill pal pet, though. Um, I also made Ghost Piglet, and I want to make Vampire Tigger. It's based on an old card that I saw years ago that I cannot find anywhere. I cannot find an image of this card, but I know it exists. And so I was making them for fun. And then you guys fell in love with Frankenpoo. So now <laughs> I guess he will be a pattern this fall. <laughs> I like spooky too. I, I look like, you know, sunshine and rainbows, but I got a dark side. <laughs> The big worm thing. This is called either the ugly bug or the odd bug or something. And it's um, a Dear Jack stitchery pattern in her Etsy shop. 
and it's supposed to be like this big. <laughs> and I made it out of blanket yarn because I could. I made it for a competition and I lost. But now I have this bug and I thought that she was fun for spring. So she is part of the background now. Yeah. Aw, Amethyst Seven, you're always so sweet. Thank you so much. Remind me your name. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Yes, Peggy. I can't say anything. I can't say anything. But I will say it's a very Aussie in year. Okay. <laughs> Amy! Yes. That's right. I knew that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you just joined, but I think I am going to have to go. I might be able to, like, five more minutes. So if you're new and you're here, hi. I am so happy you're here. Teresa was on with me earlier. Don't forget to watch the replay. We, we cracked each other up. <laughs> Um, o Fire is, I am affiliated with, they are having a huge sale for, um, today through the 21st. It is 15% off the entire site, the stands, the bowls, the bobbins, everything. And of course the hooks. If you want to know more about the hooks, I made an entire video. I also released a video today on my top five things I would buy from O Fire if I were you and why. And, um, yep. So I will link my um at the end of this video there will be a link during the replay and then i also linked my o fire affiliate several times but i will do it once more before we end and um the tot contest winner has been chosen there is a video that will be coming out i'm hoping saturday fingers crossed it comes out saturday and um you guys will get to see what they won and who won and Sunday, I am doing a special video with my mother that has to do with tea. And um, Teresa will not have a live next Thursday. We will have a live on May 3rd. Hold on. Yes, May 3rd with Teresa on my channel. And we will be talking about our crochet along. That will be at... 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can always catch the replay if that's too late for you. I completely understand. It is It is a Friday. People have plans. So, um, but you won't want to miss it. It will be lots of fun. Let's put up a few comments before we go. I think I covered everything. Oh, yes, real quickly. This little guy and his friends will be showing up this summer. Ice cream corgis and fruit corgis. Super fun. Okay. Monster Mash. Okay. Yes, I'm glad you said hello as well. Oh, thank you guys so much. If you watch the replay, leave me a comment. I love knowing that you guys were here. So, um... And also, I asked questions during the live, so if you want to answer them in the comments section, that would be great. <laughs> Aw, yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. So I have to go. It was so great chatting with you guys. We got up to like 23 people at one point, so yay. I will see you again on the 3rd if you want to come back. Uh, that will be an evening one. That'd be May 3rd, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. I will have a poster. Don't worry. I always have a poster. Um, I made two O Fire videos that you guys can check out if you want to know more about the company. I have yarn reviews that I put out recently. And uh, there's a flip through coming next week. Oh, yes. This little guy. His tutorial will be coming next week. The little teabag buddy that doubles as a bookmark. And yeah, 
Thank you so much for being here today. Y'all are wonderful. Thank you so much. I cannot do this without you. I, I am so appreciative to every single one of you. Never hesitate to email me, please. I love your emails. They're so sweet. They make my day. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Teresa, for joining me. This was so fun. And um, if you guys ever want to join me on a live, email me. I will. We will totally do this. This is fun. I figured out how to do StreamYard. Yay me. <laughs> Remember, life happens. Yarn helps. And Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye, guys. <laughs>